I'm gonna go back just a little bit. So and and I'm going off of a fan, like you know, I consider sure. myself just a huge fan. For sure, I see everything. I know that. So this is when I'm trying to think about the story of Rich Homie Quan. I said they got mad momentum. For sure, one of the most talented niggas in the game. Yeah. When did it start to slow up and why? And I started putting pieces together. Okay. So this is my theory. You what tell you me, together? yeah, you tell me if I'm just like I got to keep one hundred with you. All right, bet. All right. When I now come to find out and oh, think about it, okay. Yeah, s- number one, you signed to uh, uh, um, think it's a game. Yes. You got Lucci as your, your fucking um, label mate. Yeah. You and Thug was rocking for a while. Yeah. That shit. I don't know what happened there. We always wanted to hear the answer. Okay. Never got it. Okay. You fell back. Okay. Things also got a little weird with, with things a game, but but th- that's business shit for sure. And it felt like something was happening, and this is what I'm thinking. Talk. Some shit probably was happening, either street shit or whatever. You yeah. just didn't want to be a part of it. You okay. fell back. And through that fallback, fans who, who are just only used to seeing music was like, yeah. what the fuck happened? You know what I mean? Sometimes the best answer is no answer. And that answer to everything you just said. Right on the money. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's you know what, what I took it as. Come on. That's what I took it as. Come on, man. So yeah. sometimes the best answer is no answer. You weren't right, man. Like a lot of that was right. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna get into that, but sometimes the best answer is no answer, man. But I was still working the whole time, man. You know what I mean? Cause like, you know what I mean? I came in the game by myself. I wasn't trying to pick no sides. It went by picking sides. You know what I'm saying? But were you forced not to like like because y'all had a little rich game thing going on with Yeah, Burley. you know, you got yeah, the rich game. You that think. album was that fucking mixtape was hard. Bro, you gotta think at this time. This before streaming. So imagine the streaming was oh, out yeah, then. Yeah, so you yeah. gotta think. This like this would change. I feel like niggas wasn't even doing collab projects to me and Thug did that, bro. Niggas were not doing deluxe till I reloaded the first still going in, bro. Let's set that straight, bro. That is true. You feel me? They call okay. it deluxe now because Corn reloaded it. You can switch the words, but I don't get my credit. And I be cool with that. You feel me? I'm top three in Atlanta and I'm not three. Yeah, nah, nah. You de- you you, de- you definitely um I'm top three and I'm not three. <laughs> If I'm going back to and by the way, you fall in that in that very there's that time it's that period. Sound, it's that sound that influenced the, it's that it's, it's the me no, future course. thug that influenced that sound or that generation that Definitely everybody got now. Definitely the sound. But, but but even before the sound, I'm thinking about new niggas who have not who have just influenced culture and used to run it up. And they'll never but, but you you and Fetty. Y'all, when y'all popped off, it was right before streaming. That's yeah, that's a big thing sure. that people don't acknowledge because you see right now, if an artist pops off now, you almost get more legs because the streaming shit just keep replenishing it's itself. It's, it's easier. It's easier. It's easier. You feel me? So when you popped off, this is right before streaming became Come really on, man, streaming. I'm still packaging CDs at my mama house. What you mean? Mm. It was CD players then. You got to think. We put it over flash drives. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it wasn't no Apple Music then. That shit sound prehistoric. Think about that, bro. I'm 10 years in, uh, September 27th, bro. Yeah, back then, you got to go to all the radio Hello. stations now. Come you got to hit Spotify. Shit, this is Spotify's podcast. But you got to think at the same time, though. That's why their music ain't lasting that long. These niggas ain't putting in the groundwork. They ain't doing the open mics no more. Yeah, they ain't yeah. doing the, the stuff that, that that's going to make the, the shit really stick. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? You know what I mean? That's why that shit, it don't, it don't got no substance. It ain't timeless like mine. Nigga, I've been on the road 10 years, I'm 10 years straight every weekend doing the same song, bro, from 10 years ago, bro, because it's timeless music, bro. These niggas know they can't fuck with me. I feel like they fear, I feel like they be scared of me, bro. You feel me? They don't be want to give me the credit. They know I'm, I rightfully deserve. They know, bro. You can't mention Atlanta without missing the coin. That's period when it comes to sound. 